What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show your support for the channel. Those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So this is the package that didn't make it in in time for the haul video yesterday. So I guess it's kind of fitting because this is a strictly niche package. Um, did get a couple, a couple fragrances from Mansara and a couple parfums to Marley. Some good stuff in this package. So first and foremost, I do want to say uh, that all of these fragrances did come from Kushik. Over, he's in multiple fragrance groups on Facebook. He is in TLTG Reviews Fragrance Lounge, um, as well as the Swift Sense uh, fragrance group. So if you'd like to reach him, that's the easiest way to reach him because why wouldn't you want to join the group anyway? I mean, we have a bunch of cool stuff going on. And, uh, and one fragrance in particular did come compliments of Raymond and Deborah over at Swift Sense as well. And we'll, we'll kind of point on that whenever we get to that one. So first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and cover the two Manceras that I got. Uh, the first one, this is long awaited, long overdue. I did have a decant that I passed along uh, to Miguel because I knew eventually I was going to get a full bottle and I have it now. This is Mancera. This is red tobacco. I already know what this one smells like. Obviously I had a decant of it and that's why I had to have a bottle. Now believe it or not, three of these five fragrances were blind buy fragrances. That's right. I am blind buy on niche. I take the gamble on stuff like that too. So standard Mancera pouch. There's that beautiful red tobacco bottle. Has the Mancera logo on top. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's not leaking or anything, but I can smell this fragrance. My God. So damn good. I love this about these. Are you going to unscrew the cap? Ah, that's why I smell it. It leaked a little bit. Okay. It happens. God, but it smells so damn good. So, let me wipe that a little bit. Yeah, it, it definitely leaked. Let's see what's going on here. No, just from packaging over time, I guess. Well, I'll, I'll tend to that in a little bit. Clean that up. We'll put the bag over here on the side for now. Ooh, it's all over my fingers. Who doesn't love red tobacco that has smelled it anyways? So, very excited to have that. Now... Um, I don't have Zerjoff Noxos, which I know a lot of you do or have smelled. It's not going to make the tobacco list because I don't own it, but I'm ready to do the tobacco list. So be looking out for my top 10 tobacco fragrances coming soon. Now this Mancera was, I saw Carlos at Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers review on it a while back. Um, and I knew this is one that probably fit me. There's mixed reviews on Fragrantica, but you can't always go by the Fragrantica trolls. Because uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good stuff on Fragrantica and there's a lot of trolls that bash just to bash. But I wanted to take a gamble on it. It's powdery, it's fruity, it's summery. It's not really good for this time of year. But it is Aude Blue Notes. hope the camera's focusing, by the way. To last night's video, when I put them up like this, it wasn't auto-focusing. I hope it's auto-focusing for you guys this time. I won't know till I play it back and do my edits and all that good stuff. But let's go ahead and bust this bad boy out. Now we got the gray pouch. Digging it, loving it. Bust this bad boy open with the, put that right there. Oh, that bottle's beautiful too. Similar design to the lemon mint bottle with the iridescent blue to yellow, greenish kind of hue. So it doesn't look like this one leaked. Ooh, but I can still kind of smell it a little bit. I definitely smell some violet. So I've never smelled this one before. So you know what I think about it? I think we need to spray it on a card and check it out. This is going to be a first impressions. Wow, that's powerful in the air. Oh, yeah, very, very fresh and fruity off the top. has a sort of waxy quality to it. I'm guessing that's from the orris that's in it. And definitely, definitely going to be a powdery, fruity scent. 
orris and violet leaf, but I definitely, I'm smelling a variety of fruits. Definitely some orris. I can always pick out orris when it's kind of prominent. It's giving it that waxy quality. And I definitely smell the violet leaf, maybe a little jasmine, guaiac wood, something like that. Yeah, damn good. Doesn't smell like any of the freshies I already have. This is probably going to be my prized possession when it heats up. So pretty excited to have both of these. Um, it's crazy. Look at the difference in size. They're both 4 ounce 120 ml bottles. It's just there's a lot more. Uh, it's because of the, the addition of this gold base is what's making the height difference. Crazy. Both cool looking though. I'm going to hold on to this card because that smells really good. Now moving on to my Parfums de Marley fragrances that I got. Now these are all testers. I went, hey, I'm all about saving a buck anywhere I can. So I got all testers. Don't bother me to have testers. So they're all in the white boxes. And this is the one that I got compliments of Swift Sense, Deborah and, uh, and Raymond. Uh, Deborah Swift, Raymond Ford over at Swift Sense. I do have their website linked in the description below. All your decanting needs, they got you covered. They've updated their prices recently. They're wonderful, wonderful people. A lot of you that watch me know who they are, have met them. I met up with them at uh, Sin Explore. Just wonderful people, great prices, doing it for the love of the game. They're not making a whole bunch of money. Very, very fair prices. Like I said, check out the link in the description below for the website to Swift Sense. I also have their Facebook group linked below as well. So which one did I get from them? Oh, I bet you see that red bottle already. I got my bottle of Kalan. Pretty excited about this. I don't need to spray this one. I've, I'm almost done with my sample. I've worn this a few times and you can see right here, tester bottle has the triangle diagram on the back. But God, this matte red, so beautiful. It really is. Super heavy. Caps super duper heavy. It is a weapon. Can't really smell it coming through. As far as I know, it hasn't been sprayed. I haven't messed with it. I haven't sprayed none of these, even though they've been opened. Because well, I opened them earlier. I, I busted the seal. Man, so glad to have a full bottle of this. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate that. Now, the other ones that I picked out, I just, they're, they're very, very good for this time of year. And I really felt the need to get my hands on them. Uh, these were both blind buys. I'm going to go ahead and pull them both out their boxes real quick. I'm going based off of hearsay and note breakdowns because I think I would like them. These are some pretty expensive blind buys. This is very ballsy on my part, but I got a tester bottle of Parfums de Marley Pegasus. And I got Parfums de Marley Carlisle. Pretty damn excited about both of these. So I'm going to need a card for both of these. Let me write down what's on each of these cards. Because I'm going to be sniffing them throughout the night. It's going to be for Pegasus. And then this card. Just one. Come on. Will be for Carlisle. All right moving on so this is undoubtedly a first impressions I have never smelled Pegasus before I have never sprayed Pegasus before this is I'm going in blind very good atomizer whoo I definitely get the vanilla and almond right off the top oh that's beautiful my god it's got kind of a slight milky quality to it. Not in a bad way. Very creamy vanilla and almond. I don't really get the bitterness from the almond. I don't know if that'll be more in the dry down, but it's definitely not a bitter almond to my nose. And granted, it's on the card. It's not on my skin. God, that's just so cool looking. That, that polished, mirrored finish. Oh man, this is beautiful. This... Depending on these first impression sprays right here between Pegasus and Carlisle is going to depend what gets worn for game day tomorrow because of course I'm going to wear one of these tomorrow. I just got in some Parfums and Marley fragrances. Of course I'm wearing one. My God, that is beautiful. I can see how this is unisex though. I can definitely see my wife pulling this one off with ease. 
I know it's marketed for men, but this is very unisex. And vanilla. That's next level vanilla right there. Slide this forward a little bit. Make some room for Carlisle. All right, Carlisle. Let's see what we're working with here. Supposedly, what I've heard, what I've seen, what I've read, it's kind of a combination of multiple things. And wow, it's super sweet. I smell it. Oof. Ooh. -hoo. You definitely get touches from everything. I smell a little bit of Herod because I do have a decan of Herod. It's got kind of a... I know it's not listed in the notes, but I kind of get a little, like I said, the tobacco I'm getting a little bit from Herod. I'm getting a little bit of a caramel smell. Definitely some cardamom. 100% some cardamom. Oh, that's beautiful. That's warm. It's a little sweet. It's a little spicy. Man, that is... Damn. Man, I might have to do Carlisle tomorrow. Nothing but treasures right here, guys. Whew, I'm going to be sniffing that all night. My God, Carlisle smells amazing. Ooh, and Pegasus is getting even better. I'm starting to get a little bitterness. Oh, man, they're so good. And Blue Notes. Ooh, that's getting even better, too. Now, that's super unisex. Blue Notes. Everybody can pull that one off. It's getting a little more floral. I'm starting to find more and more of appreciation for floral. I've always kind of liked floral scent, but more and more as I'm diving more into iris, I'm really starting to dig floral fragrances more. God, that's all amazing. So five just banger fragrances. I mean, for those of you that have them, a lot of you have these and you already know that, um, but I'm just really starting to dive into niche a little bit more. And uh, my God, that's five incredibly wonderful fragrances. I am super happy to have them. Like I said, Kushik, thank you for the great prices and great selection, my friend. Raymond and Deborah, thank you so much for the generosity. Um, so happy to have these. These are going to be making some lists and getting some use now. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I think I'm going Carlisle. I might need to wait. Well, we got a little cool front roll through. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Bust out Carlisle tomorrow. I'll tell you this. All three of these don't smell like anything I own. And I, both of these don't smell like anything I own. Like I said, I've, I've had a sample of this, decan of this. Already know, I've already worn them. Know how they smell. Knew I had to have them. So, as always, guys, do me a real quick favor and go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think about these fragrances in here. Is, is there some Parfums de Marley fragrances that you swear by that I need to get my hands on? Or some Manceras that is just must-buy territory? I know Aude Vanilla, Vani, um, Aude Cafe. Uh, I'd like to get Chaco Vani. Uh, there's just, there's several that I have my eyes on. But what's some of your favorites? Let me know in the comments. Um, and tomorrow, I actually did get another package in today that I was not expecting to get was super humbled and honored by this package. Um, I felt that deserved its own video. That's why I'm not showing them in, in here. I got multiple fragrances in from a company. Those of you that follow me on Instagram or uh, in Swift Sense or TLTG Reviews Fragrance Lounge, one of those Facebook groups you already know. Um, but I'm gonna say that tomorrow. I got a special unboxing and first impressions on four just, from what I understand, fantastic fragrances. Um, so we'll check that out tomorrow. But until next time, guys, there ain't no doubt about this. You get your hands on some of these and you give them a spray now. Oh yeah. You will thank me later. Have a great night, guys. Mm -hmm.